How's it going guys? This is Grant with Noble Dog Walking and Training and we're going to be doing on a video on a cute puppy. Now when we're talking about puppy, we're not talking about six months old, we're not talking about eight months old, we're talking about eight weeks to 12 weeks. That's your zone to make things happen and to create the dog of your dreams. So we're going to start working with the puppy. The most important thing is that if you want to give that dog a treat, make sure it's the dog's food. Don't be giving treats. If the dog wants to eat, it has to learn and get better. So let's get started and let's show you how to train your puppy. So we have an amazing, beautiful puppy named Kara, and we're gonna teach her the word yes, which means come to me to receive a reward. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna be using the dog's daily kibble, no treats, because we want that dog to realize that it needs to work in order to get its food. So let's get started and check out how to train your puppy. Kara, come, yes! Sure that you give the food behind you. So, yes! Nope, yes! So see how my foot is exactly in the same position as my hand? When you say yes, that's what you want to do. Kara, yes! Okay. That is it. Just get that dog to come to you to receive a reward. So, Kara, yes! Look where my hand placement is. So, you can either have the hand placement back there or you can do it like this. Kara, yes! are just so much fun, little girl. So again, just keep doing it. Kara, yes. Okay. That's what you're going to want to do. Keep doing that. Okay. Kara, yes. Just let her explore and then call her back. Kara, yes. Awesome. Alrighty guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to teach Kara her name. So she understands the word yes, which means come to me to receive a reward. Now we're going to teach her how to recognize her name. Kara, yes. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Okay. Come around right here. And we're going to put the food. I know you're a little crazy girl. You're just a little crazy pop -pop. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going to hold the food like this. And when she looks at us, Kara. Kara, yes! So, that's how you do it. A little bit of food right here. Kara, yes! Make sure you get the eye contact. Kara, Kara, oh. Another way you can do it too is if you can go like this. This is actually the good way to do it. Kara. So keep it open, close it. 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 Open, close. Open, close. Open, no. There you go. Kara. Yes. Keep it closed. As soon as the dog relaxes, open. That's what we want. Kara, yes. Kara, yes. Just keep the dog engaged, you know, get it, keep them with you. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on sit. Now, for you guys at home, do not say sit. Just say good and yes, and you'll see how we do it. Kara, yes. Kara, yes. Get the dog engaged. Now we're gonna work on the sit. So you go like this, treat up, good. Good. Just reward the dog while they're in the same position. Good. So good means to stay and hold position. I'm going to come to you to get the reward. Kara, yes. Don't worry about duration right now. Just keep the dog engaged with you. Kara, yes. The goal is to keep giving the dog food before they get up. Good. Good. And then when you want to let the dog know they can get up, Yes. Perfect. So that's the basics of the sit. Get the 
dog into position, keep rewarding them. Good, 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 good. When they're holding it, see, look at this. Check this out. You learn, little girl. You learn. You learn, little girl. Perfect. Okay. You got the general gist on good and yes. Now I'm going to show you the down. As I can tell, she's starting to get a little bit bored. Treat glue to the nose. Lure the dog into a down. Put the food right on their paw. Okay. Literally just try and put the food right on their paw. And move it to the other paw. There we go, jackpot. And then just reward the dog as much as possible. Almost. That's why you gotta be quick. Get the dog back into a sit. See how close my hand is to the dog? Get the dog into a down. her nose and right on her paw. There we go. That's what I want to see. And then open the hand up. And I, I'm going to drop a couple right there just to buy myself some time. As long as it's, I'm just going to keep going like that so that the dog keeps getting rewarded while she's in the down. That's good. That's going to buy me some time so I can get food out of my pocket. As long as she's not getting up, she's getting rewarded for holding the position. And I want to jackpot that. You know, I want the dog to keep holding the position. And then I'm going to let her know yes and let her break. Yes! Yes! So you guys learned how to do down. Now I'm going to teach you the place command of how to get the dog to lay on the dog bed. So this is really helpful. You can train the dog that the doorbell is the command for laying the dog bed, which is really awesome. If you have an aggressive dog, which is obviously not a puppy, you can have the dog lay in the dog bed and keep your house safe. Also, it's really good to get the dog to send away and then come so that you can work really long duration recalls. You can send the dog off the place from 100 feet away and then boom, come and have him come back. So I'll show you how to do the exact same thing as we did with just good and yes. Kara. Good. Good. I don't care if she stands. I don't care if she sits. I want her to just realize that I want her on the bed. No. Good. Yeah. Everything with a puppy like this is just fun. Keep it fun. My goal is good. To say good and give her the reward before she breaks the command. Good. Watch where my hand and my leg are connected. So, as I say good, watch my hand and watch my foot. Good. You want to keep those connected. Yes! Moving the hand and the foot back. So again, I'll bring her back over here. Kara. Good. So watch where my hand and my feet are for good. Kara. Have a little fun with the dog and get her to want to work with you again. Can't be boring, people. Okay. Just again, watch the foot placement. Good. Hand and foot connected. All right, and then hand and foot back. Yes. Yes. All right. So 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually teach you how to use the verbal command. So if you're still at step one and you're having issues, stay at step one. Don't rush. If you're having success and you feel good and you feel confident, I'll show you what to do. So what we're going to do is now we're going to show you how to incorporate the command word. So all we've been doing previously was good, yes, and no. Now we're going to start incorporating the word. The most important thing you want to do when you incorporate the word is say the word first. So typically, whatever the dog knows least, the dog does not know English, we want to use that first. So we're going to say sit, then do the body language, then say good and give the reward. So check it out. Kara. Yes. Sit. Good. Kara, sit. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Sit. No. Good. See that? Good. Yes. Awesome. Sit. No. Sit. Kara. Good girl. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with down. Down. Okay. Good. Good. She knows down not as well, so we're just going to keep going rapid fire. Good. Also, never force your dog into the down unless they fully understand the down. Um, the dog, if you tell the dog sit, down, if you tell the dog sit, eventually they will naturally lay down when they feel comfortable. So a lot of times if the dog's not laying down, it's a sign that they don't feel safe or they're confused. Down. Good. Just remember, say the command first, then the body language, then the food reward. Good. You're just too cute. You're just too cute. All right. Yes. Now we're gonna do the word place for the bed. We're gonna go over here. Place. Good. Good job. Good. No. Place. Good. And just remember, no treats, use the dog's daily kibble. Good. Nope. Place. Woo, you're a little fiery one. So the reason why she broke right there was because I put my food, my hand in the food pouch. So again, keep your hands just normal. Then once you say good, then go into the food pouch. Kara, hey, bed. Should have said place, that's fine. Nope, Kara. Good. And the key is, you want to say the command right before the dog does it. So watch how I do it. Yes. Okay, so watch how I do this. I go like this, I point at it, right before the dog gets on. Place. Right when the dog completes it, good. Right when I want the dog to get off, yes. Awesome. Alrighty, so you guys learned the basic commands. That's basically it. Uh, you got a young puppy, don't even worry about the leash. Just keep it fun, keep it playful. When the dog hits 16 weeks, 14 to 16 weeks, I'll show you how to make it happen for real. All right, guys, so we've got toy time. Time to have some fun. See, look at her, she's just a little ball of joy. So what we wanna do is, first things first, never leave toys out. If you leave toys out, what that's gonna do, yeah, you got it, girl. If you leave toys out, what that's gonna do is that dog is gonna realize that when it's bored, it's just gonna put its mouth on stuff, it's just gonna get excited. So that's gonna take a lot of the peace outside out of your home. The next thing is, what happens is, is when the dog's bored, it just teaches the dog to bite stuff and the dog doesn't really value the toy because they have full access to it. So what you wanna do is you wanna bring it out for training and that's it.
So we're gonna do something a little bit more advanced right now and that is gonna be teaching the dog how to listen to behaviors when they're in an excited state of mind with no food. So what we're gonna do is she knows sit a little bit which is awesome, so we're gonna get her to do sit. Then we're gonna say free, we're gonna play with her and then have her go back into a sit. Basically simulating chaos and also creating control. Having that really good on off switch with your dog. So let's check it out. Kara, hey Kara, oh, oh, hey. <laughs> You can blow on him. <laughs> sit. Sit. Care. Sit. Free. <laughs> sit. Free. Free. <laughs> so as your dog gets more advanced and you start to have a better communication with your dog, start to move away from food, start to incorporate play, and creating that chaos and that control. That way when your dog is out in public and it's wild playing with other dogs or having a blast, you've already proven to your dog and yourself that you can control the dog. Alrighty guys, so it's walk time, baby. We've done the little sits, we've done the downs, we've done the place, now it's time to go out in the big wide world and show that dog some fun. And what you wanna do is you wanna get one of these 15 foot leashes. So, it, for a puppy, there's not a better one on the planet than the Lucas Agnew Dynamic Slip Leash. I like it in red because it's contrasting to your environment, and it's very lightweight, and they have a really good return policy. If it starts to get chewed up or doesn't work anymore, Sherry Lucas and Brian Agnew will return it for you. So, first things first, don't just slip the leash on the dog's head. You're better than that. You've got a puppy. You don't need to do anything dramatic. Use the dog's food. Do not be using treats. The dog wants to eat, teach it. Hold the leash like this. We're gonna go find a comfortable spot to sit. Hey, Kara. Hey, little Kara. Yes. Get the dog to go through on the leash on their own. Let the dog make the choice. See how she's like in the leash? Perfect. Yep, totally good. Let her get out, let her go through. Yes. Same thing with any type of stuff. Muzzle, leash. Just get the dog to want to do it. That way you're not having to fight the dog to get the leash on. See that? And then the next thing is, what I do, so she's on, she's got the leash on. Yep, good job. Yep, just let her do her thing. So, boom. There you go. Awesome. Next thing you wanna do is just drop a ton of food on the ground. So I'd, I'd have like a lot of like, good handful of food in, on the ground. Get her to go through, boom. Okay, then drop the rest on the ground. That way she can feel the leash cinching all of that and she doesn't feel stressed about it at all. Okay, see, just kind of go like this, like that, like this, like that, while she's still eating. That's gonna make sure that the dog just absolutely loves putting the leash on. So now we got the dog on the leash and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to walk the dog. So we're kind of in a confined space so this isn't necessarily the most realistic environment but I'm gonna show you, you'll be able to read through the lines and figure out what you need to do on your own. So first things first, just walk like this, boom. Okay, just walk along, let the dog do its own thing. Just, okay, dog gets out to the end of the 15 foot leash. She's just walking, Kara, come! Yay! Call the dog back. So if the dog is out in front of you on your walk, just use this leash, don't try and choke up, just let the dog fully explore. When it gets to the end of the leash, call the dog back. If it gets too far behind you, just pull the leash. And the way you wanna pull it is just like this, just keep your arms swinging. So when the dog goes, Boom, swing. What a lot of people do is they go like this, they have their arm back, which is good. They pull like this and then they lock up. They don't follow through. So just make sure you just follow through. So we're gonna walk, okay? We're gonna let her do her thing, okay? Let her explore, do whatever she wants to do, okay? Here, okay, this is good. Kara, come! All right, so let's check out the let's go right here. So this is a good one. She's right here, watch the leash. Let's go. And pull the leash forward. Hey, eat you. Eat you, little puppy, eat you. Get to the end of the leash and then just say, let's go, and pull your arm forward like that. That's pretty much all you have to know for the walk. So come when the dog's too far out in front of you, and then let's go when the dog's too far behind, and then leave it, same technique of pulling, when the dog is getting into something you don't want. So thank you for checking out the video and enjoy your puppy, you're gonna do a great job. All right guys, so you guys learned how to train your puppy indoors. 
um, and outdoors, but I'm gonna show you, some, just talk to you about some general rules that you wanna have with your puppy. So the first one is your dog should be in a crate at night and one unsupervised for the first two years of their life. That's gonna create a self-reliant dog that doesn't learn negative behaviors and also is calm in all situations. It's very important. Most importantly too, is that when the dog starts scratching, whining, doing anything on the crate, you need to correct it. A couple ways to correct it are opening the crate door if the dog tries to get out, hitting the dog with the crate. I know it's not fun, but you have to do it. Also, if the dog's scratching on the crate, throw a rolled up towel at the crate to let the dog know you don't like it. So while the dog's in the crate, and if it starts to do something annoying or destructive, you need to correct that behavior. Don't just ignore it. If you say no and you don't do anything about it, it's not, not gonna change anything. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna have personal space. If the dog's constantly getting into your space and you're not you know, to being able to have the dog get away from you, every single dog that's tried to viciously attack me or kill me has been a dog that's been allowed within the owner's personal space on without permission. So make sure that you invite the dog into your personal space um, and that you can, most importantly, kick the dog out of your personal space because if you don't get in the habit of kicking your dog out of your personal space, historically, your dog will become human aggressive and that's just a fact. And lastly, most importantly, no unearned affection. If your dog just comes over to you and begs for attention and you pet the dog, you're basically, gonna, you're leading to a likely human aggressive dog. So make, push the dog away, tell him to bat, you know, relax, and then when you want the love, make sure you get it. So make sure you're giving the dog some of its daily food for the things that you do want. Don't just put, put the food bowl down when they're a puppy. And make sure that the dog is creating personal space with you and also is crate trained. Thank you again for checking out the video and I look forward to meeting you in person.